Culture and Tourism. The South Atlantic coasts provide exceptional opportunities for sun and beach tourism. The main attraction being the centenary beach resort of Punta del Este and its strings of oceanic beaches which go from Solana's beach to the peninsula of Jose Ignacio. The wide summer options Uruguay offers is complemented with picturesque fishing villages on the coast of the department of Rocha, ideal for a more bohemian and ecological tourism, as well as many other natural attractions, thermal waters, palm and umbra forests, an afternoon in the mountain range of Minas, special rivers for canoeing, horse rides in touristic resorts, and a varied gastronomy ranging from sea products to the spectacular meat roasted under log fires with the unequaled taste of a red wine with a brand of origin, the Tanat. The Uruguayan capital has a particular flair in the pedestrian streets of its old quarters as well as in its art deco, war house and state-of-the-art architecture of the 20th century. Open-air strolls, plus the charm of the Rambla next to the river, the colorful carnival which takes place every February, and its attractive theaters, museums, art galleries, and innumerable bookstores. Those are some of the many attractions which can be found. Less than 200 kilometers west of Montevideo is the city of Colonia, a historical patrimony of humanity. Founded by the Portuguese in 1680 and today one of the most appreciated touristic destinations due to its colonial treasures, its designer shops and restaurants. Uruguay offers several sport options, fishing and hunting, water sports, wide and sophisticated golf courses, but it stands out above all for its football. Together with the country's new developments, the Uruguayan national team, La Celeste, came out fourth in the South Africa 2010 World Cup, thanks to its practical and effective play. These modern times require dynamism, intelligence and speed in order to adapt to the technological and geopolitical changes. Uruguay, an example of responsible and productive country in the American Southern Cone, is an exceptional protagonist in this vertiginous 21st century.